welcome back to our ongoing office 365 series today i really want to make a video um, in the email um, the spam very hot topic <coughs> like how spam works how you can block how you can um, check uh, for the block emails like uh, some people they accidentally at work uh, when uh, we have email from uh, um, our we are an email provider as well so some people when they call in they stop receiving emails from a friend family or domain so we have to troubleshoot that so I wanted to see all those options in today's uh, but uh, since I have no emails I cannot do it so what I did is I signed up uh, a few websites with that email address and hopefully in the next day or two I will receive some emails and then I will be able to make that video because um, I wanted to show in Office 365 and not somewhere else. Um, so let's go and use calendar, make a video on calendar. Okay, I did get one junk email, spam. So um, like in some uh, services provider, they call it spam. Some like in Outlook or off my office, they call it junk have four here one two three four and there is another option that is oh yeah there's one as well okay so I can make this video tonight if um, everything stays the same or more so I wanted to talk about the calendar um, in the meanwhile <clears throat> so let's make this video calendars are like um, when you ask some people like hey is this a good time or is that uh, time works for you they said let me check my calendar basically uh, you write everything down here and like uh, is that a good time you click on like I I made this so I know if somebody say hey 10 is that 10 in the morning good time on Monday uh, the person can see and say hey okay 10 and 2 hours low okay I'm not available between that hour so that's a oh, uh, uh, it works but that's just for personal what if you want people in your organization to see your calendar like they don't have to actually talk to you about hey are you available at that time because you're working in that uh, um, um, establishment or the building or whatever and you know um, you don't have to find that person yeah it's easier for people uh, to check your calendar for example all the supervisors uh, they want to uh, a general manager wants uh, or a manager wants to have a meeting of all the supervisors so he or she wants to um, make um, uh, you know se select a conference room or you know uh, well we have conference rooms so you can get that conference room for you in a certain time and then it's yours and we we have general uh, planning meetings every week so but we uh, it's in our schedule so when you open your schedule it's there so you know okay hey this time i have to be in that room um, so for, same is true for the like them but since they are so busy they they have to coaching to do or they have to you know take calls um, and all that so if a super uh, a general manager wants to see if uh, it, this uh, supervisor Oh, sorry manager wants to see if the supervisor is available at a certain time or not or what his calendar look like what day they are all of them or majority of them free I can cram them um, into a meeting so he or she can look on their calendar and see okay most of them are free in the evening or in the earlier hour of their shift so like if a manager wants to see this they will know okay earlier in the day between 8 like if the day uh, starts at 8 in the morning okay so they are not free by this person is not free uh, between 10 and 12 maybe they have a like a, he, he could add everything for example for six hours he can add something like 8 to 10 he has to do and help somebody out and then from 4 to 6 or whatever they are doing something else so they know that the, the time frame between 12 to 4 is kind of open so they can um, set that up and and that person can actually see 
it will show up pop up so how do you do that first like for example if this person wants to say okay i he wants to add another thing so from 8 to 10 let's put a title um receiving So <clears throat> this person is Ali. Um, yes, it's Ali. Yep. So Ali is going to take a, a shipment uh, from a vendor. Uh, like when they come, you, know, you have to actually basically you have to receive it. Then you have to open it. Um, you have to make sure all the you know all the accessories are there, and then you have like internal labels. You can uh, you place those stickers and then you scan it so you that that's how it gets inventory into your system that hey we received these things and we have added it into our system and now then the deployments are like whatever um, like if the whole floor needs to be uh, replaced uh, monitors that's how you, you do it or you know there's an upgrade for the um, other hardware it could be anything so everything is that like that okay where is that <laughs> okay right. No, right. it was right. so where's the other one okay uh, I can do it again receiving slash inventory so they if they want they can invite anybody like uh, it's optional but they can invite people uh, it's going to be for two hours and it's not repeat it's not to be repeat like it's not they are getting um, shipments every week uh, if they were they can do it like every day or every week whatever <coughs> since uh, it's like I said about the rooms you have to uh, you, you can add the room uh, if the room has the resource mailbox setup you can search it and then you know uh, it gets an email automatically so <clears throat> add description so they will know that okay they are receiving new monitors and they are gonna so they're receiving monitors and they are gonna inventory it or Ali is going to do it so he saved now they know that uh, between 8 to 10 it's he is not available then 10 to 12 he's not available and uh, later half of the day he is <coughs> now he, how the calendar sharing works like this is for Ali Ali sees it and say okay I'm not available at this time but if he wants to share it with the within the organization so other can see okay and say oh, okay he is not available at this time uh, I, I, can, I can't have him so let's go and see this is the calendar Alice sorry about that my arms uh, throat is still not 100% okay so before Ali can share it through here we need to make sure in the back end um the sharing is enabled if you remember when we were going through the email there were like default sharing policies everything default we looked into it in the last video where is it uh, this is the Ali so yes this one so this is the admin the full admin he needs to make sure like it's a different person they make sure uh, that uh, the sharing is enabled if it's not enabled Ali cannot share his calendar so this is the place where they have to it's like stay um, in that email thing um, exchange sharing right there 
so if you remember it was in permissions we saw the all the uh, no it was in recipients and under mail group boxes we saw that uh, <coughs> so it's kind of slow okay it was email features I believe yes uh, no sharing policy you see default sharing policy so that's the default sharing policy like we talked about I, I'm just chugging up your memory uh, I don't want you to say feel like hey what's he doing he's not so you have to actually see those videos um, before in this series so this is like organization like the whole organization in your um, uh, setup so what's the policy about that so it says sharing and free busy and other calendar information sharing between between uh, your exchange in within your organization so this is uh, like either you can enable it you can add it from here you can name it and domain to share with for example you have multiple you just wanted to keep it at one place um, most likely within your like uh, uh, at one place like at one location so that person is only calendar sharing within that uh, location and not the um, whole organization worldwide there are other options like you can enable calendar um, you just want the uh, if we enable it I have to name it that's why it's red so I'm not naming it because I'm not gonna do it I'm gonna just cancel in the end um, so you can either just uh, give them the um, it's like it will rather um, let me show you here so it's it can sh either show them 8 to 10 not available right and the other option is uh, this one the other option is it will show them with time 8 to 10 it will show them what you're doing like what the subject we put and the location if the person put the location in as well so uh, like the room like um, uh, if you s set up it's a meeting and you set up the room then they will know what room you are in so if somebody really your manager really needs to get you they can walk up over there so it's like these two in this one they just know you are busy but they don't know where you are and what you are doing that so the other one is how you want to uh, share calendar you want it to be shared with everyone like everyone in your organization can see or just a security group that you're part of so basically <clears throat> for example on our flow there are two managers if you're part of one managers group the other cannot see what you're going unless he's part of that group as well so <clears throat> within a group or your supervisor he can see what you're doing and because you are in his group and the other supervisor cannot see what you're doing they have to contact basically uh, contact your supervisor to see what's going on so it's that and if like exactly like in active directory and if you remember we saw the security groups uh, when we were setting up that uh, email distribution list and all that uh, you can when you in once you enable the group you create a group you make it I think we'd made the support one if it's still there I uh, might have I think I had removed it I shouldn't have oh uh, security. Now I can search it. Blank. Okay, there is no group. We. I should have left that one here. So basically, uh, then your calendar information is only being shared with the group. Okay. So let's uh, cancel it because we are not making it. So let's go. Uh, let me show you where the group was. I remember I created group so and mail something I need to see all these as well uh, permissions user roles no. groups right there okay and it was right here okay this I have the groups 
here let's create the mail enable security group and see if it shows up over there um, we have sales we have support let's make it 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 email address IT notes IT security group for email for calendar sharing let's see if it, this group shows up over there or not I hope but if there is a latency it will not show up um, right away okay we need to yeah admin center no all right protection organization so let's go see if yeah right there so now you are only sharing your calendar within that group so basically all the other groups that i created they were not security groups so it has to be a security group all right so we can now we can exit out of it we are no longer want to share organization wide or group wise we would just want to share our calendar with just one person me i want to share it with my uh, it will be automatically but uh, i want to share with uh, a supervisor i can add his email address so he will he can see my um, um, calendar and i'm not talking about my supervisor i'm talking about like another supervisor like any person i'm just giving an example or my manager um, uh, or the manager but they like you see in organized organizational setup they will already have access to uh, my calendar so i'm talking about somebody who does not have it so i just share it with him so then they can see uh, see my calendar uh, so we can add we can policy name and then add the all domains specific domain contact your contacts like your contacts can see uh, again what they can see daytime or what exactly what you're doing including the location and and do you want your uh, contacts folder as well or not like who your contacts are again it's the default sharing policy so this is how you do it now let's get back how Ali can share his and what saddens all right inside action So these are I think the add-ins that you can oh this is you see it is already installed and this one is not bring maps installed by default okay these are some of the add-ins that uh, that is already in the mailbox or they can there's some optional that they can install like insights so rather than to go out of their mailbox they can access it within their mailbox so they are templates suggested meeting or unsubscribe and bring maps etc so let's go to Ali's calendar back now he wants to share it and uh, we saw the sharing option we saw that it is enabled so he will be able to share it and he if he wants he can put everything so, uh, something in two three four so it will be like a full calendar it's not like just this this is empty uh, because I haven't uh, I haven't put anything yet here uh, there's an uh, uh, there's a very cool thing is when you click on United States holidays you you will know why I said about two because uh, bank holidays are like 31 and fast uh, some they only give you like an uh, at our work it's on, we are off only January 1st so we're working on New Year's Eve uh, some 
some they either let you go early or they allow their soft it depends so you know ali can put say okay i'm back on he can actually put here i'm off whole day uh, like if he is taking a personal day off uh, he can put in here so they will know okay he is working this is his last working day then he's off here then it's already it's the whole building is off and then he, every, everybody's back on thursday so next thing um, uh, there's a birthdays as well but that's not for i don't think so that's uh, for organization uh, now organization do to keep track of your birthday and they wish you and send you a card or something so it's like if you click on birthdays and it, it will pop up whose birthday is here or uh, if there's anything else oh it's just options all right so there's a group what's in the groups i think that's the group calendars yes that's the group calendars base because it's showing up because if you remember we added a lead to these groups all right so this, let, let's get to the actual fun part the sharing who do you want to share it with you can either a add a username so or in my organization um, so let's go with this one first we give it Aslan so we see his email address came up he, it's it's gonna share with him can view all details he can only view when Ali is busy or view title the location all details he can add it like if he, if they're part of a group um, yeah, or you know their team they can edit each other calendar so for example Ali is doing inventory and Aslan is in a help desk too and he knows that the next one is coming uh, right away uh, uh, within the next uh, as like uh, at 12 and he do he does like he doesn't want to go to Ali tell him and then Ali goes and update his calendar in the meanwhile you know there's a gap anybody can book him for something else and then they you know there's either confusion there's a conflict or you know of timing and then Ali has to go or call to the manager hey I'm not available at that time so this if they are a team he can allow Aslan to okay you can add it while I'm doing inventory if there is something comes up you just add it my calendar or delegate delegate is I think it's on behalf I'm really not sure let me find out so delegate is like uh, uh, is acting on his behalf like Aslan can act on his behalf as well so it's like giving them more control so we're gonna leave it just the details um, and he can click on share then there's a another person same I'm just using the same uh, one it's the same name but it's entirely totally different uh, uh, email address he's sharing with them or now what is the sharing with within the organization not shared he doesn't want anybody else to see only with the person that he has shared it uh, or, or can view when he is busy when they are when he's not there they they can't reach him then they can you know when he put his status busy uh, they can see his calendar what's uh, where is he what is do going on why is he not in his desk etc uh, then can this view the title location can view all details and can add it it's like so we leave it to defaults and it's done we are done here so now do i have another browser here i have the okay so let's log into aslan uh, what is internet explorer okay cancel so let's go to um outlook yes we have to go to outlook because that's where yeah, you edit your calendar and that's where you see your calendar uh, who is signed in no thanks uh, let's and
outlook finding more account use another account so we're gonna go with aslan at I'm gonna give I hope I remember his password okay you can save it so the first thing um, there's no junk email I saw the six so I was like okay I can't use this email address for the uh, uh, the spam thing so Ali first they have to go and see okay Ali has shared the calendar they accept it once they accept it it should show up here like oh, I wanted to show you okay I can show you on the other inbox so basically uh, once you accept it it's his calendar just like Ali uh, United States holidays and birthdays so right now this calendar is Aslan's calendar but if we scroll down a little where it is people's calendar Ali's calendar let's go to the email okay you're invited accept view calendar so now you see people's calendar show up here so if I go to that uh, old screen I scroll down here and oh right there I click here calendar tab same it's gonna go here and you see now before there was no tabs showing people's calendar but now it's showing uh, people's calendar like different one and basically what it's doing is it's overlaying on top of each other I, I don't know if you have seen those like uh, um, that plastic uh, transparent plastic uh, sheets that they put on top of uh, paper region something to overlay it's normally it's for the maps and all that but you see it's check mark if I uncheck it the information within the 30 is gone let's say uh, this person uh, for Aslan he's busy today between 12 to 12 30 and lunch all right so he put lunch there save so lunch is showing so now you know that this one and he he has nothing to do on Monday he's totally free it's like he come to work clock in and just sit there but when you overlay Ali's calendar now you know that uh, they have Ali it's showing up just for Ali he can uncheck it and you see his information is gone and it's just Ali's calendar right here so he that's how they can actually go and see each other's calendar if he unchecks Ali as well uh, it reverts back to default that's his own but once clicked on Ali it's overlays it once click on 30th he can see all the information here okay Ali is doing receiving inventory this time he can click on it I think and it will show wonder between this and this time receiving new monitors so um, he gets all the information he can click on the next one it shows up Ali is going to be in a meeting between this and this time but can Ali see um, Aslan calendar no because Aslan has not shared it with him back to the Ali he has to share it from here just like Ali did if he does not Aslan can see uh, Ali calendar but Ali cannot see Aslan's calendar um, this is it it's very easy uh, if this video help you in any way please comment subscribe share and rate thank you and you have a good day